Welcome to Mishnah study. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to speak about continuing on that concept of the, the vineyard. But now we're going to talk about a person who wants to thin out his vine. He's pruning his vine. Is he allowed to also go ahead and cut the grapes that, you know, could potentially belong to the Aniim? So that's what we're going to speak about. A medel bagifanim, right? A person who's thinning out, he's pruning his vine. Keshem shu medel betoch shelo, kach hu medel b'shel aniyim divrei rebi yuda. Rebi meir omer, b'shel lo hu rashai, v'en hu rashai b'shel aniyim. Right, so a person's pruning his vineyard. The same way he's allowed to prune and cut off, you know, uh, little branches, little vines, um, even grapes, whatever it may be, so it grows better. Uh, of his own, right? Basically, his own vineyard. So too, he's allowed to also prune the parts of the anim, right? The same way he's pruning his vineyard, he's allowed to prune the parts of the anim according to the biuda. The bimir says, no, he's only allowed to prune that those that are his. You can only prune the, the the vineyard that's his that's not going to belong to the anim. So not the oledot, right? He can't cut the oledot according to the bimir. You know, if it's his, he's allowed to. If it's not his, if it belongs to Aniim, he's not allowed in or Rashai. Halakha is not like the Bibi'ir, rather, it's like the Biyuda, the same way he's allowed to prune his own. He's also allowed to prune the uh, vineyard, uh, the grapes, you know, the vine that belongs to Aniim.